It's a lot of different kind of people here. The dude right there in that house build cars. The Usos on Johnson be having the crazy parties. You know, I lived over there, so I used to come over here and kick it with the homies. We used to walk to Lakewood Mall instead of going to school, be at the mall all motherfucking day. It was just fun, man. It's like ghetto leave it to beaver or some shit like that. Them Yankee ass remind me of my youngest days. I was a maniac. My mama had me where them babies had them babies at. My knuckles had she knocking niggas on the ass. People smacking, never lacking. Roll the riches is the path. Motherfucker, watch it happen quick. Raised off a wig, cold blood like quick. You dig your own grave when you fucking with the Lord. Wait, catch your face. Probably finna go to hell anyway. We in uh, Compton. This is my grandma house. I, I'm from Long Beach, quote unquote, but over here, everybody from everywhere, none of that stuff mattered. You know, my family came out here, just one of the main places that black people start coming. We gotta fix that door, mama. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> oh, fuck. So my granddaddy got out the military, he was like 17, 18. He was like, he bought a house over here, and he bought a house on Spring Street, and he bought a house on like 125th. And that's all we got, in my, that's all we own in my family. But they all in my grandpa's name, but he died, so they belong to my grandma now. All people had then was the mind state to buy something, own some property, because you know, slavery comes, you can't own nothing, so everybody wanted to own some property. And if you look today, the reason all the homes around here look beat up and old is because that's all people got. I shall be up for blue sway here. Hope I y'all live them red roses. Hope I y'all live them red roses. Three of the niggas in that video is in jail. One of them is dead. My mama moved me away. Not really away, but it's 15 minutes away, but to then that was moving away. Cause you don't gotta deal with the location of shit. Cause once your head is out of that space, I guess you don't have to feel like you're a part of that no more. But you just gonna end up being a part of something though. Never go switch my mama right soldier show me that profit cough the right road was up I'm up now these hoes all they love now wanna fuck now they beg to bend over half these hoes show for half these hoes I used to live in a house right over there hey, man like I would say like a year and a half two years ago we got took it from us on some fluke shit but the homies still be kicking it over there in front of the house like we own that motherfucker which is kind of weird but Whatever, there's no nobody living there right now. Don't none of y'all live here. How <laughs> do what do you niggas live here? What's that? But nah, we got songs named after this motherfucking house. He knocked out the homie in the garage right here. He knocked out the homie behind there in the backyard. Oh, what's back there? It's nice. Oh, it's nice back here. The shed was right here. I got locked in. The shed was right here. Oh, yeah, when we was younger, we locked him in the shed for like, how many hours was you in that motherfucker? Like oh, we, lo we, lo we locked him in the shed for like eight hours. He was screaming, trying to get out. The neighbors called the police because we wouldn't let him out the shed. The girl that lived right there used to throw crazy parties, and the homies didn't want to pay. So we would just hop the, hop the gate real quick, hop right in her backyard. It's crazy. I'm I'm lucky to have the type of situation I had to really be able to grow up around the people that I'm still around today. And then not be no funny shit. Everybody still love each other. Everybody's still cool. Yeah. Birds in the bees come and fuck with a G. High to 6,500 degrees. Hard on the hole, drop your drawers to the floor. Gangsta guy, baby, get on your knees. Baby girl, get on Summertime 06 to me is really like what it was. I was 12, 13 years old. I was barely, barely turning 13. But that's when it really started. That was the last real good, that was the last real good year of like shit being cool and safe and calm after that nigga started dying, bro. When we was doing Hell Can Wait, a large part of that had to do with this because the homie, he lived right there and he got killed right here in this alley behind the trash can in front of his like 10 year old sister or some shit. <laughs> Shut up. Niggas be, you know, regular niggas at the end of the day, out of job, took care of his mama, took care of his sister, but niggas still fall victim to the bullshit. 
I don't feel like I live in the hood or the ghetto or no shit like that. But sometimes it ain't the best place to be. North Division trying to stop my blackness. I'm watching for them badges when out in traffic. Them 9-11's been a tad bit frantic. If lights start flashing, please don't panic. This from on the park and in the eyes of the Long Beach Police Department. This is a very volatile place full of very volatile characters, but when I was younger, I had fun over here. It was a fucking baseball team at this motherfucking park. All that shit been gone, man. Ain't no performing Sports. arts. Ain't no performing arts programs. Ain't no art programs. Shit still happen over here, but it's not community based. It's to play to play pee wee football for OCJAF. You got to pay five hundred dollars. That's five hundred dollars your mama don't have, but she gonna spend that five hundred dollars to try to get you out of trouble because that's the whole objective of these parents out here to get them out of trouble. So. Okay, you want to you pay that fine to get out of trouble. Your daddy got to go th get that back. What happened if your daddy get incarcerated trying to get that money back that you left and it's all for you? When I was 16, 17, I got into some shit that don't need to be named. And this man called my phone like five times and was like, I understand because I, I understand how it get. But you got to understand that you got a greater purpose and that everything don't need to be taken to that level. And that phone call, let alone, probably saved my life. He got shot. Seven, eight times? How many times did you get shot? Eight. He got shot eight times. And at that point, I was so focused on being selfish and worrying about myself. I hadn't seen niggas I grew up with in like two, three years. For no, just, just on some bullshit. But that helped me realize what's important in life. The problem with rappers, man, rappers is niggas make shit seem like, nigga, I'm the hardest nigga ever. Nigga, it's hard over here. Man, I had to sleep with a Lord, bullet hole man. in my pillow. <laughs> like, nah, man, 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 none of that, man. We want motherfuckers to show like, nigga, we not over here living like animals, bro. I want to try to be the reason why motherfuckers is proud to be over here and why niggas don't have to leave. Bitches think they living in a dream till I wake them up. Faded off the liquor limousines waiting in the front. Looking for a nigga with the green shining in the club. Trying to trade a hoe's life for the red rose life. Look how Tron is living. This, this the one. Him, you. Come here, come here. Without this band and without this man, there's no Vince Staples music. I've, I've thrown my whole life away. I used to have to pick between walking from their house over there and his house over here, and this the man I was like, you gonna fuck up. Come over here, we got food. I know you don't smoke, but we got weed. And we got like three bitches, but you can't have two of them. You can have the last one, and the last one is the fat one. But I always, you know, took one for the team, and I always let the homies, but everybody think the beginning of my music, and everything that I do came from our future. That's a lie. It ain't nothing because I met them from him. And everything I know how to do, I learned from him. I learned how to be patient from him. I learned how to, I didn't know what a 16 was. I barely really got the hang of it. I didn't know none of that stuff. Take him to your room, Chuck. I want to go nowhere. I'm going to give me a house with a gate by the water. If I ever get super rich and super, I need to be by myself. That's all I need because these people is this motherfucking community, man. Like, this shit was crazy when I was growing up. I loved it over here. And I still do. So if you love the music, I want you to understand where it come from. Because that's what it's about, man. We all just trying to get to know each other better. That's all this shit is.